Hi, my name is Roger. I'm with Artec Computers. First thing you have to figure out in a situation when uh, a notebook computer is overheating, and this applies to any notebook, not just a Sony notebook, is are all the fans working? If all the fans are working um, and it's still overheating, more than likely you've got dust or something trapped in the vent area uh, that's preventing the airflow um, from uh, being as robust as it should be. And uh, many times what happens is the dust will get trapped inside the, um, uh, underneath the fan in what's called a heat sink, which is designed primarily to dissipate heat. And it actually starts acting as an insulator, causing the notebook to overheat. Okay, take it to somebody that's got an air compressor and just blow out the vents and make sure that there's no um, dust trapped in there. And uh, once you get the dust cleaned out, that'll usually solve the problem if your fans are functional. Now, if your fans aren't working, then um, it uh, really, it basically you have to replace the fan that's failed. Um, this can be a little bit of a troublesome as notebooks are not very easy to take apart and work on. Um, if you don't want to deal um, with the cost associated with that, then you can go to www.r-tech.com and do a search for notebook cooler. And you'll find a variety of devices that you can put underneath the notebook and uh, that'll cool the notebook um, and you know, allow you to continue to use it. Uh, usually the fans are less than $50, and uh, uh, if it's just the fan, the labor to change it out is uh, usually around $80. Um, feel free to call us at 818-347-1100. Um, if your system should overheat, um, this is really not a good thing. First of all, uh, it's not very comfortable sitting on your lap with this hot potato. And uh, basically what you can end up doing is doing, damaging the CPU or the other um, chips that are, you know, that the heat sinks and fans are there for to keep them cool and do, end up doing permanent damage to your notebook. We've actually had cases where the notebooks had gotten so hot that the plastic inside had actually melted onto the mainboard. And uh, obviously, you know, in those situations, you can damage your notebook, and um, it can many times be damaged beyond repair. So it's a si relatively simple and inexpensive fix to either get a notebook cooler or, uh, you know, use the air compressor if your fans are working.